Hello and welcome to the fourth lesson in HTML. Today's lesson we're going to be going over the paragraph tags. Now this is going to be a very short tutorial and it's just going to be going over the simplicity and format of paragraph tags. So stay tuned and let's jump straight into this tutorial. Okay so for this tutorial we're just going to be using the files which we left off in the last lesson. So if we right click index.html and click open with Dreamweaver CS6, bear in mind you can use any text editor for this. Okay, so after we included the images, what we're going to do is we're just going to put another comment saying that we're doing the paragraph tags. Now, paragraph is basically a line of text which is formed in a paragraph format. So how you would include a paragraph tag into your document is you open the triangle bracket, put in a P and close off again. Now, closing it is just with that forward slash and then the same tag, just like closing HTML or body. So you can see that I've put in a long sentence of text now. And you can see that if we just double click and view this online, that is my long sentence of text right there. So you can say, well, I could just add in text and it would be exactly the same. So what's the difference between power to par paragraph tags is that if we add one below that, you can see that if we now refresh our page, it's going to have a gap in between it. Just like if you were writing out a paragraph, you would leave a, like, a space between each paragraph, just like that. Now, if you did want to do a line below each other, so you want to do this text again, what you do is you just put the br tag in, which is written like so, and then you could put that text underneath, and it would be displayed just like this. So if we refresh this, or well, save and then refresh and view it online, you can see that that's exactly how it is displayed. And that's as simple as it gets with paragraph tags. Now also in CSS you can style these paragraph tags to do more, change the line height and everything like that, but this isn't a CSS tutorial, so that's all I'm going to go over in paragraphs in HTML. So thank you for watching this tutorial, stay tuned for my next tutorials, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you, and goodbye.